In the heart of the enchanted forest, there lived three extraordinary friends whose unique qualities made them quite the trio. Allow me to introduce you to our forest companions. First, there was Sable, the philosophical sloth. Sable was a sloth unlike any other. He spent his days nestled high in the treetops, pondering the mysteries of the forest. His slow and deliberate nature allowed him to see the world in a way no one else could. Then, we have Backpack the adventure-seeking snail. Backpack was not your average snail. With boundless curiosity and energy, he believed that every nook and cranny of the forest held secrets waiting to be discovered. Adventure was his constant companion. And finally, there was Goodwin the polite raccoon. Goodwin, as his name suggests, was a raccoon who cherished good manners and the art of respect. He was the guardian of harmony in their forest home, where everyone treated one another with kindness and courtesy. Now, with our friends introduced, let's join them on their delightful adventures in the enchanted forest. One sunny morning, Sable, Backpack, and Goodwin gathered under the shade of a mighty oak tree. You know, my dear friends, I've been thinking. What is the meaning of life in this beautiful forest? Life? It's all about the adventure. Today, I'm planning to explore the mystical meadow of fireflies. Who's with me? Well, Backpack, while your enthusiasm is contagious, perhaps we should consider our manners and show appreciation for our home before venturing off. Goodwin had a point. The forest was a gift, and they ought to be grateful. Just then, a group of young forest animals approached. Hey, Sable, Backpack, Goodwin. Can you teach us something fun today? How about we each share something special about this forest that we're thankful for? The young animals gathered around in anticipation. Well, I'm grateful for the endless trails and secrets waiting to be discovered. Every day is a new adventure. I appreciate the harmony and respect we share in this forest. It's a place where we treat each other kindly. And I'm thankful for the quiet moments where I can reflect and find peace amidst the rustling leaves. The young animals nodded, understanding the wisdom in their words. But what about the meadow of fireflies, backpack? Isn't that an adventure? The young rabbit asked the question, but Backpack didn't answer. Hey, Backpack, what about the meadow of fireflies? Where's Backpack? Where did he go? Oh, he's probably gone on another adventure. We were having such a good time together, I wonder why he left without letting us know. I hope he'll be okay, it can be dangerous in the forest alone. You could get lost or harmed by another larger animal with big teeth. Big teeth? Yikes! Little ones, it's not safe to go on an adventure by yourself in the forest. You need to have a friend with you in case of an emergency. I think we should go and look for him. Let's go. Backpack embarked on an exhilarating journey to the meadow of fireflies, where excitement clouded his judgment. Deeper into the uncharted mystical forest, he ventured, discovering breathtaking wonders, a cascading waterfall, towering moss-covered boulders, and colossal, colored flowers he'd never seen before. With every step, he strayed further from his familiar home. Well, I thought I knew the way to the meadow of fireflies, but I'm not sure now. I think I might be lost. Just then, Backpack heard a loud growl, he could hear rustling in the tall forest grass. It was coming closer. What's that? I'm supposed to be having fun. I'm lost and now I'm scared. Sable, Goodwin, and a few of the small animals went out to look for Backpack. Luckily, because snails leave a trail, they followed it and went deep into the forest. Look! Backpack is headed this way. Let's follow his trail. Thank you, Sable. Good observation, that's a great idea. Let's go find our good friend. 
Little did Backpack know, his friends were getting closer. They were on a rescue mission to find him. It's getting dark, and I don't know what to do. Just then, the growl that Backpack heard, seemed to pass him by and was going fainter as if traveling away from him. Wow. That was close. Whatever that was is gone. That's a relief. I need to find shelter and figure this out. I can barely see where I'm going. Backpack calmed down and decided not to go any further. His adventure to the Meadow of Fireflies would have to wait. Now, he needed to find a way back home to his friends. Backpack found an old tree branch and hid underneath it. He could see the moon coming up and faint little lights coming towards him. The little lights seemed to be dancing and whirling. Were they fireflies? He thought. They were right above him now, circling. They seemed to be curious about the little snail. Hey, are you the fireflies from the meadow? Yes, we are. What are you doing here? I was on an adventure to see the meadow of fireflies, and I got lost. Can you help me get back to my home? Yes, follow us. Our light will lead you safely back to your home. The fireflies lighted the path for backpack, and he was being led home by the helpful fireflies. Suddenly, he heard loud footsteps coming towards him and the sound of the rustling of leaves and grass. Oh no! What's that? It sounds like something's coming towards me. Little did Backpack know, his friends were just a few feet from him. The sounds he heard were his good friends Sable and Goodwin making their way to him. Look! There's a bright light coming towards us. I see it. They look like fireflies with our good friend Backpack. They're leading him to us. He's coming our way. Oh, it's my friends. I'm so glad to see you. I'm sorry about taking off on my adventure alone. I'm so happy you found me. The fireflies circled around the happy bunch. Backpack, we're so glad you found your friends. The next time you want to go on an adventure, you should be with them. It is not safe to go alone in the magical forest. We are so happy that you are safe at home. The happy trio headed to their oak tree home together. Hey, it's Sable and Goodwin. They found Backpack. Backpack, do you remember what we were talking about just before you left on your adventure? Yes, we were talking about what we are thankful for. I said I'm grateful for the endless trails and secrets waiting to be discovered. Every day is a new adventure. So I decided to take that adventure, but I didn't tell my friends where I was going. And I got lost and scared. I'm so sorry about that. I guess I was being selfish, and I'm really sorry. Let's try this again. How about we each share something special about this forest that we're thankful for? The young animals gathered around in anticipation. I appreciate the harmony and respect we share in this forest. It's a place where we treat each other kindly. And I'm thankful for the quiet moments, where I can reflect and find peace amidst the rustling leaves. The young animals nodded, understanding the wisdom in their words. But what about the meadow of fireflies, backpack? Was it a good adventure? You know what? I am thankful for the friends who remind me to appreciate what's right here, right now. The young animal smiled, realizing that the greatest adventures could be found in the simplest moments. As the sun began to set, the friends gathered together under the oak tree, the forest bathed in a warm, golden glow. Thank you, my dear friends, for reminding me of the importance of gratitude and respect. Life here is more precious than any adventure. Indeed, Goodwin, Harmony, and Gratitude are the true treasures of our forest. And today, my best adventure was coming home and being right here with all of you. And so, in the heart of the enchanted forest, three unlikely friends showed the young ones that kindness, love, respect, and gratitude could be found in the most unexpected places. They lived every day, cherishing life in their beautiful forest home. The end.